And here are picks and bans once again. Go away, Blitz. Um, again, I don't know what Murray State can do. And it looks like, again, you will see bans coming out to keep Easy Fox out of his comfort zone. We don't want him to play any of the junglers that he does enjoy playing. There we go. And so, yeah, they've banned out the Jarvan. They've banned out the Sejuani. Murray State instantly banning the Senna. And also the Orn. Doesn't look like Kyle wants to play it. Nor do they want anyone else to. <laughs> so, can't fault them there. And yeah, the the trundle band. So they they just went straight onto every every possible band for for all easy fun. And uh, Murray State just trying to ban out some ADC and support picks they don't like. It, it is one to nothing in favor of Missouri S and T, and I do apologize. I'm just trying to lay all straight away. <laughs> that should be everything uh, actually I will go ahead and keep this unlocked right now I missed most of the game where did MSU go wrong what happened I came in at like 315 so all 600 700 <laughs> the overlay covers up the damage of the support by the way oh sorry you didn't see that yeah it wasn't a lot um Murray State didn't do anything in particular to to mess up as much as Missouri S&T just did everything better. Um, I really thought that Olaf was going to be a good pick. Uh, KG going Nautilus top. This will be exciting versus looks like a Zach. Um, but yeah, no, it was just that the coordination working a lot better. And of course, again, we do want to point out Murray State does have a sub in today. Devante mentos is filling in because scraw is actually out of town so fizzeria is in the bot lane and mentos is the sub and kg is on top today so that could be i don't think it was mostly yep i mean the bot lane is is not our standard bot lane which really i do believe cost quite a bit for murray state today If I was going to point out anything in particular. The Scross fan club will be crushed. They will be crushed. They will be very sad that Scraw's not here. I believe Scraw had to go on a trip somewhere. So he had to step away from his duties as the ADC for Murray State University. It cannot be helped. It happens sometimes. But thank you guys for being here and supporting your racers even when we have a sub. <laughs> They're doing their best. Swipe, 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 swipe. Hey. So with Jen showing up, it looks like I think Murray State's going to have some fun now. I think they know where they're at. And I, I'm not at all familiar with any of these picks on the Murray State side. Galio for Easy Fox. Blackwing picking the Jin. KG's going for the next set of bands. We also have a Talon and a Callista. Now, we did see some Callista play recently and that was some insanity there's the rumble band again not sure if we really need that but okay <laughs> i'm not the captain so he knows better than i do casey's thinking that maybe it's zach jungle talon mid Callista adc and they haven't picked the top yet which could be the case there's the Olaf ban again. That is four bans now on the Easy Fox. They really do not want to let him play anything fun. He's just not allowed. This uh, Missouri team came in and said, you know what? 
No fun for Easy Fox today. Let's just not let him have any fun. And there's the last band from Murray State University. It's a Thresh. Thresh is not going to be available. Yo, the Gallo at heckin' long last. I'm curious to see what goes down with the Galio. I would like to see some play. I'm actually excited to see some Jin play. That's uh, that's a character you do see in the solo queue realm, and you know in the pro scene a little bit. And there's the Vi. Yeah, they. <laughs> I'm not sure if Missouri has and T's having a little BM fun there, but they have banned five jungles, and it's every jungle pick that Easy Fox has made in the last two weeks. So. Maybe they know something I don't about Easy Fox, but they just do not want him to have any of his usual champions. Nocturne coming out for Fizzeria there. That would I would assume that is the actual jungle for Murray State. And Galio will probably be mid. Nautilus top. Jin ADC and then a support pick. Cuties. <laughs> the vein coming out, getting that true damage. Nope. Swap to the Morgana at the last second. So sneaky. And they're hovering on Zoe. This could be quite interesting. And I think everything is okay now. We will find out. I do apologize. We are doing this from home today, and I've made a little bit of a mess of the overlay. I have to suffer through it. I'm sorry. I do remember that everything we do here is volunteer hours on top of all student work. So these students put in time and effort every day. They practice all the time, trying to get better, grow as players while we're here doing the back end work so that they don't have to worry about that as well as the actual part of esports. We just wanna have this here to help them, help support them. We use all the money we get from Twitch, all the subs we get, all the bits we get, all the merchandise that's purchased, that all goes right back to the students. It does not go to the school at all. It is all directly goes back to the student club because this is not a funded student club. We do have an arena, quote unquote. Um, the TSM department was willing to to basically buy some computers they were going to use for other things and said, until we want to use them, you guys are more than welcome to have it as the esports arena. Make it look nice, make it look like an esports arena, and then maybe that will help, you know, build morale towards having a funded esports program. So we're still waiting to find out what's going to happen there. We've been waiting almost two years now to find out exactly what's going to happen there. So who knows? Garen Jungle, it is, boys. I don't think it's going to be a Garen jungle. Yep, Nocturne, Galio, Jin, Nautilus. Oh, so. KG with the Poppy top lane. Go away, Blitz. So, in case you don't know, I also play League of Legends. And uh, I need Blitz.gg to help me. <laughs> Nocturne is a good jungle pick. Um. But going up against the Talon, which is one of the new ones again. So this has been interesting. Missouri s and has been trying out a lot of the newer stuff. They run the Soraka top lane the last match with the Diana jungle, who's only been jungle viable really for about a week, I guess. But I think maybe she was capable of it in the past and they just sort of made her capable of it again. Talon is another one of those champions who was not a jungle pick previously and did not have the ability to jungle very quickly and cleanly, but now they have buffed him so that he does have those capabilities. So we'll see how that plays out for him. We've got Morgana in the mid, Callista and Zoe down in the bot lane, it looks like. Why the the comp from both teams, to be honest? I doubt it's not top, but if it is, it'll be funnel and strat for not. <laughs> it is not. It is poppy. Um, again, I'm on a two-minute delay. Plus the spectator delay, so there is no cheating. Even though I am at home, I am not in the room with the uh, with the students today. Decided since Clipper is not not feeling well, there's no reason for me to drive up there, move two computers around into a different room, get Zill set up, and I can just do it from home. And I kind of like my equipment here. Chat bringing up, I kind of worried about the lack of AP damage from MSU.
I I mean I'm kind of worried about a lot going on for MSU right now. Mostly, basically MSU is looking to have they all rotate to one lane. Galio. Yeah, I mean with the global control they could definitely do that. And what I'm afraid of is they're gonna have to use it defensively to protect bot lane more than they probably will get a chance to use it offensively to attack any other lane. But maybe that's why they built this way. Maybe they wanted to have that global ability to protect the bot lane. Um, because as we saw last game, it was it was nonstop uh, rotations coming from Missouri S&T into the ADC support lane, and Murray State wasn't really able to stop them. So maybe that's what this will do. It's Shen top that, and yeah, it could have been. I mean, it wouldn't have hurt. I think Shen top is a reasonable pick in general. Some people don't. Shen's pretty strong. Maybe Poppy can rush Sunfire for that AP. Hmm. I don't know if Poppy is going to be their damage, though. So the skin game, it is one to O oh in favor of Missouri S and T here. And let's see, does anybody have any synergy? Battle Regalia Poppy, Eternium Nocturne, Commander Galio, Dark Cosmic Jin, Astro Nautilus versus Cyber Pop Zoe. Uh, I couldn't see him; it was too quick. All right, let's make sure the overlay look. Hey, it actually does. Awesome. So we are okay. Let me out. <laughs> I like to turn off chat. No reason to see that. And turn off time controls. Tab over here. Make sure we can see. Cataratty Roo. Murray State in the red versus Missouri ST in the blue. This is round two of this match. And it is do or die now for Murray State University. They do have to win this round or the match is over for today. And Missouri ST takes it. Again, we do want to uh, remind people as well, this is honestly more of just a friendly scrim exhibition than anything else. The Legion League of Legends has pretty much decided all conferences at this point, and it's going into bracket play soon. Neither the neither of these teams is going forward. Um, there were quite a few um, undefeated teams in the North Conference, which is the conference we're both in, and they will go on to continue down the bracket but we are out but this is the final i believe this is the final week of season play so we're really just doing it for fun uh and to you know get a little bit more practice so let's see what kind of practice let's see what lessons murray state learns today or let's see what lessons they teach missouri s and t if you know what i mean galio in the mid throwing out some damage onto this morgana not feeling it who is winning? So Murray State with the better first leash, it looks like. And no, actually. Uh, Missouri S&T with the better leash. Talon rotating over to his other buff much quicker. Um, obviously, Nocturne gets his Gromp first, and then Talon will get his Gromp and his blue. They are going to continue. I guarantee continue to focus on Mentos this entire matchup. Poppy putting in a lot of early damage in on Zack. I really like seeing that. Some serious aggression coming out from KG. And there's a ton of damage on Epic Fighter. And Mentos is just holding it down. First blood going to Zoe. Taking out that Nautilus. Jin just not able to get enough damage. But Fitzuria does slay Epic Fighter. And Zoe has very little health left. Will he go in and try to get the, the kill here? Or will Zoe actually uh, get him? Because they are both kind of low. Great early trade from both bot lanes there. And I believe that will definitely help Murray State get ahead in the CS game. Poppy already super low against this Zack. Not sure what happened in the top lane. It looked like it was going in Poppy's favor for quite a while, but Zack gets the knock up. And here comes Talon rotation in, and Talon takes the kill on KG111. Good jungle rotations coming out already from Missouri ST, just showing that the, the clear that he has made. Uh, was a little bit faster than Nocturne. Now Talon invading the Murray State jungle. Nocturne knowing it's coming and, and gets out of there. He's going to back. 
probably get some items real quick. He is up in CS, but that one kill does help put Talon a little bit more of a lead. Um, uh, Missouri s and already had an 800 gold lead with a kill in the bank. Let's go races. That's it. Jin going to lay down some more damage on the Callista. She does dodge the the CC route, but good uh, good aggression from Ray State. Trying to make sure that those towers take the minions away. All they're doing at this point is slowing down the CS game available to Missouri s and but it doesn't seem to be working too much. There's a little bit more damage coming out from Zach on the Poppy. It doesn't really do a whole lot, and she's just going to regen through it. KG going in hard again. Yeah, Morgana is really just sort of in farm mode right now. Galio able to, to do some damage. She pops the spell shield. In comes Nocturne in the rotation, but here comes Talon to counter gank uh, that play. And here we go. Mentos coming in. Good tanking play here, making sure to absorb a lot of that damage. But keep keep the people in the way so Fizzeria can put some damage down on the ADC. They're really trying to lock down that ADC because the more you lock down Callista, the better off you are. <laughs> Poppy and Zack going toe to toe in the top lane again. Zack taking the brunt of that damage. Uh oh, Mento's getting caught out during the return. Zoe's going to put a bunch of damage. He is asleep mid dash and he is so low. And there he goes. Nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Zoe puts you to sleep and then you cry. So, Missouri ST able to easily overcome that. I believe Jin had the back, and the problem was that uh, Nautilus was backing, but they knew he where he was and they were able to lock him down. KG playing a somewhat passive top lane, which is to be expected. You don't really want to be too aggressive. If, if you're not used to playing top lane quite a bit, you do kind of tend to play a more passive game. The problem with that is you're more willing to lose CS, um, at which can cost you your lead. Mentos going in to clear some vision in that dragon pit, trying to help his jungler make some plays here in the river. While he rotates back down, he puts some more vision down so that they don't get ganked. Keeping that whole bottom lane lit up. Just to let people know. <laughs> this is not a scrim. This is war. <laughs> There's the root onto the Callista. Oh, and the hook misses coming out from Mentos, but... They're still getting tons of damage down on Callista. If the if he could walk in now and pop his ability, but Zoe is going to keep the ADC, keep the Jin away from Callista, and Mentos is just going to go down again. At this point, Jin is really low. Morgana may just tower dive. No, he's going to back up. They're going to rotate and take that dragon. Lots of pings coming out here. Uh, I guess to let them know that hey, what about the wards? What happened there? Poppy taking so much damage even under tower. Trying to clean up those minions so that Zack can't put any more damage. But Scotty GG on the Zack able to clear out the poppy. And that is definitely going to guarantee first dragon in favor of Missouri s &T. Everyone has rotated down. Uh, Blackwing just pushing his lane. Poppy is on respawn. Nocturne is trying to farm to stay ahead of the game here. And the bot lane is rotating to where it needs to go. <laughs> But otherwise, not a ton of action except in this bot lane, which is exactly what I was afraid was going to happen. They are easily going to continue to rotate bot lane. And without people having level 6, those global abilities just aren't online yet. So Murray State can't counter these early ganks. They're already down uh, 4 kills and 2,000 gold at the 7 minute mark, plus a dragon. Did get the Callista Flash. There's the knockup coming in from Galio onto Morgana. She's below half health, but he is not going to continue that fight any longer. And now it's just back to farm for a, little, for a few more minutes. Oof. A little over-calculation on that, that ability there, but still a fair... A bit of damage on the menu wave, I do believe.
This Talon farm, quite an interesting route he's taken there. Able to um, pull the red to the Raptors and do both of those camps almost simultaneously. Which is going to give him quite the speed boost. Galio clearing up more vision in the Dragon Pit. Talon's going to catch him out here. I'm not sure it's going to be enough damage. He gets the early knockup, but Callista's going to help. There's another shot coming in. And Galio is rooted and finished. Here comes the rest of the gen ult. There's some root going on. Nautilus gets knocked up. Callista is going to put the damage down. But Jen gets the shutdown on Zoe. Nautilus still just kind of tanking a ton of damage. Not able to do anything else at this point. He goes down. Fizzeria goes down. Callista gets a double kill. And that is a three for one in favor of Missouri s and Nocturne looking to maybe get a gank here on this Morgana. Putting in... Some of his regular damage going for the auto attacks. He's not going to pop his ult. He shouldn't need to. He gets locked down though. Oh, but he gets her with the skill shot. But Talon is there and returns the favor. And Easy Fox goes down. But he does get a kill on Morgana. Keeping it somewhat close. But still in favor of Missouri s and 9 to 4 right now. 2,000 gold lead in favor of Missouri s and Poppy putting in damage. Trying to get those gold. Getting those plates off with the tower to get a little bit of extra gold. Maybe to help put her in a bigger lead. But Zack is back and he's on the attack. He's not afraid of this Poppy. She's trying to keep things pretty much just split push for top lane because she does not have a global mobility ult like the rest of like a large part of the rest of Murray State does. <clears throat> Again, the idea being that they will come help support the bot lane should they need to. Poppy does have teleport though, so she could use that if they did decide to go for a serious gank in the bot lane. If it got too crazy. There's the hit. Oh, just a little short of the knockup. But it does get it up. To press the spell shield before uh, before taking any more damage. Poppy getting some damage in on Zack, and he is returning the favor. A little bit of knockup back and forth coming from both of them. But it won't amount to much right now. Really, the, the tail of the game is in this bot lane. And there comes the Zoe throwing a little damage. A missed hook from Nautilus. Uh, but they've got so much damage on the gen. That was half his health bar. Uh, from maybe two abilities. And he is probably going to have to go back again. Nautilus is there. To help support, but again, uh, Missouri s and is just going to rotate. Dragon will be up in 30 seconds. They're going to try to catch out. Maybe Galio here. He flashes away and they <laughs> pop the blast code uh, just to kind of disorient him, I guess, and keep them keep Murray State from being able to use it. Nocturne waiting in the bush. It looks like Talon's aware or figures that he is there. Using that instinct that uh, League players have. Oh, and now he has vision, so... Uh, no more instinct needed. Zack is now proxying minion waves. Uh, he is in between two towers here. Poppy has a really good position to quite possibly knock him into some towers, but he is going to bounce around, popping his ult there. She is going to keep slapping him around. He is really low at this point. And it looks like, yeah, I'm pretty sure she gets another a stun on him and... That is technically the kill. Now she has to break all the passives before they recombine and gets him. KG slaying Scotty GG in the top lane. Nocturne coming in hard on Fire and Ice because he was trying to gank the Nautilus. It looked like they just decided to try to bait that play. Um, to be fair, it's a pretty pretty reasonable bait to, to make there. Missouri s and has been able to gank the bot lane quite frequently. So being able to... Uh, Catch them out's pretty nice. There's the big knockup on the Callista. Big root, lots of damage coming in. Nautilus is going to burn his flash and shut down Callista. That is a ton of gold in his pocket now. And Fizzeria is going to slay Zoe. Able to uh, clean up that bot lane. Morgana is going to back. She is not in a good position here. And now Galio actually has chance to work with Nocturne here and get this dragon before Murray, before Missouri s and can get here. And Poppy just doing some work in this top lane. That's another plate in favor of Murray State University. This is the dragon you really want because this is going to lower the amount of damage taken. Um, both magic and physical, I do believe. Let me double check that. 6% armor and 6% magic resistance. So that's just going to help Murray State survive a little bit longer in this game. 
And, you know, it's really close now. It is only 9-8, one kill in favor of Missouri s and and they're up 2,000 gold. This comp from Murray State University may be working, or Missouri s and may just be kind of lying in wait. There is the, the damage coming in, trying to lock down the Morgana. She gets taunted, but she did pop that spell shield right in time of that charge. Galio pretty much completely frozen under tower. If he can't get out of there soon, Zoe will finish him off, but he does walk away. Zack clearing out vision in the top lane. Poppy and Zack have pretty much... Oh! And Talon comes out of nowhere to get that kill onto the Galio, who was trying to back at the time. Great play from Missouri s &T, Not letting him back and pretty much just killing him. So that is going to let them put a ton of damage on this mid tower now that turret plating is gone. But here comes Poppy. Looks like she's going to try to knock somebody way up high. Nautilus comes in and gets the kill on the Zoe. Morgana is low. Poppy tries to put in some more damage. They get the flash off. So she is safe. But they did get the burn the summoner spell. So props to Murray State there. Looks like they are going to go ahead and end up... No, they're not going to lose the turret in the top lane. Zack is going to have to back off due to the minion wave. Canyon wave came in. So yeah, Murray State... Not going down without a fight, to be sure. And I think they might have a chance at winning this round. They're going to start putting in a lot more damage on this bottom turret. But yeah, there goes the first turret in favor of Missouri s and Zank takes that away. I have a feeling this is going to come down to one of those situations in the late game where one big team fight makes the makes the breaks. And Zack comes in with the stun onto Murray State, but in comes the Galio to return the, the stun favor. They put in a ton of damage, but will Nautilus go down? Galio trying to block all the damage he can. There's the Gen ult, putting down a lot of fire onto the Zoe, onto the Zack, onto the Callista. Galio is super low. He is going to have to walk away. Zoe trying to get a skill shot off. Red turret goes down. Talon coming in to fight on the Poppy, who is trying to take that top tower from Ray State University. And whew, quite the commit from both teams there. No one able to get a kill, though. A lot of abilities burnt, so that will definitely slow the pace of the game up for at least the next two minutes. Poppy willing to fight this Talon. But she is low on mana, so it's going to have to be careful. Nocturne is going to come in to help here. He puts in some vision just in time to see the Talon. Um, but Zack is also there, so Nocturne does need to be careful. Zack jump misses Nocturne. He uses the Blast blast Pellet, Blast Seed. I call it a Blast Cone. <laughs> Galio getting a lot of damage put on him from the Morgana. He's stunned under Towner. There's a Root. There's a Q. And Morgana kills Blackwing in the Galio. Mid-tower turret being camped by Zoe and Morgana. The dive coming in from Nocturne. And also in comes Mentos on that uh, Nautilus. And they get the Morgana. And like I said, every time it seems that Missouri s and is getting a kill this time, Murray State is returning the favor. And every time Murray State gets a kill, uh, Missouri s and is coming back with their own little revenge play. So it is anyone's game right now. There is about a 3,000 gold lead in favor of Missouri s and as well as two towers. But the the gameplay is just all fights right now. There's there's no strategy to be seen other than, oh, are they fighting? Let's go fight too. Let's see who wins this fight. <laughs> hey, they're low. Let's go in now. But it makes for some exciting League of Legends. Zach getting a lot of that vision cleared. He doesn't want to get seen out anymore. And that's really what uh, both teams need to be working on right now is cleaning the vision out of their jungles and getting some more deep vision around anywhere they can. The more vision you have, the better your chances are of winning. It's it's guaranteed. It's science. You know. <laughs> there they go. Murray State clearing out that vision. Zach jumping in on the poppy. Not exactly sure what he's going to attempt to do here. They are both just gigantic meat shields at this point. So all their abilities will be mostly CC related. Nocturne trying to come in to help. Zack is just going to walk away. He is going to put a little bit more damage on the poppy. No one player is really taking off this game. Everyone is pretty well 
balanced, I would say. Nocturne is six and one. Uh, so you could say that he's popping off. And Missouri S and T taking their second dragon. That is gonna give them not just health regen, but I'm pretty sure this is damage boost. Yeah, four percent attack damage and ability power. And now they are gonna start stealing Murray State University's jungle. Trying to make sure that that six and one nocturne can't become a seven and one, eight and one, nine and one nocturne. If they can choke him out, that will really put Murray State in a bad place. He is a level ahead of Talon right now, so he has actually been able to choke out um, the enemy jungler, the Talon, who really is pretty fresh in the jungle game right now. They get the sleep onto Poppy and Zach with the big knockup. Zoe takes down Mentos. Pizzeria slays the Morgana. I'm pretty sure KG went down as well. No, he got away. He was really low, but he got away. Uh, and so that was just a one for one. But a great move from the Zach there. Good positioning to try to get everybody knocked up. Putting a ton more damage down on that Zoe. She almost goes down. And it looks like, yes, Easy Fox did get the Rift Herald. So Murray State is going to get to put a lot of damage down on this mid turret. If they get it down far enough, it's going to just die as soon as. Yep, there they go. So that is the first tower down in favor of Murray State University. And they are probably going to get a second one without any major contesting. But that's going to be the end of the Rift Herald. And they are going to rotate away. They're pinging about garbage. And they are going to start stealing the Missouri S&T jungle just like their jungle was taken from them. Quite the strategy mirror match at this point. And the skill cap feels really even right now. I'm not sure if that's due to the comfort of the Murray State picks or if that is due to the lack of comfort from the Missouri s and picks. It does seem that lanes have rotated. Uh, top is now bottom and bottom is now top. This is a very winnable game. I think Murray State has quite the chance here. KG with the knockup gets the stun onto Zach, chunks down some of his, his health while he's taking hits from that that minion wave but it's not going to be any any sort of gank ability and i have a barky dog because it is her supper time <laughs> talent clearing up that uh scuttle crab making sure that this second riff herald doesn't get stolen out from under him and it looks like they are gonna go for no Jin rotating in mid making sure that the zoe morgana duo does not gank the galio once again but here comes Talon to kind of make it a 3v2. But Nocturne and Nautilus are in the back line here. They put the hurt down on Morgana. And there's the Jin ulti. But it looks like the CC from Zack is going to keep him from getting too much. But Easy Foxy does get the Morgana. Blackwing does get the Zoe. Talon takes out... Uh, who was it? The Nautilus. And Poppy took out the Talon. So three for one in favor of Murray State University. And they're going to rotate. And oh no, this is this is Baron. Are they actually going to rotate and try to go for Baron here? I mean, it's a pretty good time to do it. Two are down currently still from Missouri S&T. And they could use every advantage they could get right now. But in comes Zach and Galista. Are they baiting this? Do they? Does Murray State rotate off? Do they know that uh, Zach and Galista are here? They definitely know by now. Not sure they're going to completely rotate off. They do, though. Uh, Poppy was pretty low. Ballista puts in the damage on the Blackwing, taking out that Galio, and that is a Baron play completely countered. In comes Morgana, misses the skill shot. Jin putting in a little damage. There's the Zac. And now Missouri S&T rotating to start the Baron themselves. But I, I would not be surprised at all if this is not just a bait play to get Murray State to start a team fight. Uh, but Murray State is not taking the bait right now. They are going to let Missouri S&T just sort of fight the Baron for a little while. They're all there, though. Just kind of waiting for the dive. Will we see a dive from the Nocturne? The Nautilus hook misses. There's some damage coming out from Nocturne. The Baron is low. Blue team takes Baron Nasher. So Missouri S&T essentially gets that Baron uncontested. In goes Poppy. And there's the Gen ult to put some more damage onto the Talon. Everyone's dodging the shots, and Murray State is going to pull back. 
It's 14 to 14, a 4,000 gold lead in favor of Missouri S&T. They do have two dragons, and they also just got the Baron buff. So that means empowered waves of minions as they push down the remaining towers. Uh, and they will probably go ahead and also take that next dragon, which will just give them that much more attack damage and ability power. 4%. They would be up to 8% more AD and AP. Murray State really should try to contest this even if it does cost them a team fight i think but they don't even have anyone there in time and yeah that is now eight percent ad and ap in on the side of missouri s t as well as the baron buff not a whole lot that murray state's going to be able to do in a team fight here they really need to get a pick they do not want to fight as a team i don't think unless they absolutely have to oh the dive coming in from blackwing he wants to instigate that fight so bad but able to rotate back, make sure he knows the play. There goes Poppy, and they get the stun on Morgana. There's a little bit more damage on her, and I think they are going to get... Nope, she pops the stopwatch, and s &T is going to rotate to protect her. The dive coming in from Nocturne. Blackwing does get the Morgana, but Nocturne does get shut down by the Callista. Fizzeria shuts down the Callista. <laughs> Zoe shuts down Nautilus. Quite a lot going on here. Zoe shuts down Jin. A Fire and Ice shuts down Blackwing, and the Talon takes the Poppy, and that is an ace for Missouri S&T. Three of their members still have the Baron buff available to them. They are going to wait for Minion Waves. It looks like they're going to go ahead and try to push the mid lane, because that is technically the shortest lane. Uh, Zoe's going to go ahead and help bot lane, while Zack and Talon help in the mid lane. These towers are going to go down really, really fast now in favor of Missouri S&T. 25 minutes in, Murray State was at least able to survive a lot longer so far this game. Uh, but Missouri S&T, for all of their possible misplays uh, so far this match, they have been able to recoup from them pretty well. I thought that team fight was going to go way more in Murray State's favor. They put in a lot of effort there. <laughs> And they got in quite a few kills, which was extremely beneficial. Instead of having five people with the Baron buff, there's only three left right now. It doesn't last too much longer until it comes up again. But uh, three minutes, they really need to be concerned about that dragon. If they do not stop them from getting that fourth dragon and therefore the dragon soul, it is all but lost for Murray State University today. Mentos, cleaning up vision in the river, making sure that when, uh, when that dragon is up, Murray State can know to counter it to to be there in time and now they really just trying to keep the mid lane yeah, the other baron buff is now gone um so only a tower and some and they did get some kills and i believe just one tower out of that poppy going in onto zoe got the knock up nautilus there to try to or no that was talon no callista callista flashes away talon takes out Jin. Talon is trying to get away. Poppy knocks him up. The Talon gets a double kill on Poppy. Oof. But Morgana takes out Nautilus. I believe Nocturne almost had Callista, but she did the resurrect there. And there went Blackwing again. Nocturne is running for his life from this Talon, who is now a level up still. And Talon is asleep and super low. Or no, Nocturne is asleep and super low. He doesn't see him. He's able to juke out of it. Is he going to get away? He throws his ability to get that movement speed. But there is another ace. And Missouri S&T is just going to continue pushing this mid lane. So they got they got a bot lane, two mid lane towers, so one mid lane tower. Uh, they're about to finish up this, this mid lane. All the towers are about to go down. I don't believe there's going to be any problem. Yeah, there's another minion wave right behind. So all that damage coming in, that's going to be the mid lane inhibitor. While Talon takes the top lane turret. Murray State not really able to fully reply to this onslaught coming at them from Missouri s &T. It is just completely gone off the handle as Missouri s &T is up 24 to 16 with a two dragon advantage and a five tower advantage. 11,000 gold difference at this point in the match. And all Murray State can do is just try to keep these minion waves out of their base. Dragon will be up in less than a minute, and this is what I'm talking about right here. They have to contest this. If if S&T gets this Dragon Soul, 
Uh, that is going to be so much of a bonus in their hands because it is damage relative. They've already got the heal. They don't need the cooldown reduction for ulties. But all the damage that's going to be coming out of that Zoe and that Morgana and that Talon. I mean, that was with just two of them. Imagine what's going to happen when he has that third. Murray State just having to back up completely. Galio is here trying to help this Nautilus. Nautilus is just going to get melted by the Zoe. Discount Friend is on a killing spree. Morgana cleaning up damage. Zack stealing the uh, jungle away from Murray State University. Just making sure that they get a lot of vision right here. So if Murray State does indeed try to contest this dragon, ST will know about it very soon. But it doesn't look like Murray State's going to be able to do that. They're going to have to protect their mid lane inhibitor because it is down. And that's the Dragon Soul in for Missouri ST. Would have liked to have seen an exhaust with Talon and Callista. It wouldn't have been bad. Really exhaust on just about anybody, but the Zack would have been pretty helpful uh, for Murray State University. S&T going for this next Baron. Murray State rotating in that direction. They know it's happening. They do. They did have some vision. Uh, are they going to make it in time? I don't believe so. They don't even really have a way to contest the damage that is able to be put out from this S&T team now. Nautilus going in hard. Is he going to get the, the steal? I'm not sure. Fizzeria, the blue team, did get the Baron. Fizzeria did get a kill, though. Uh, Zoe goes down. Nautilus shuts her down. And they are going to try and shut down this Baron play. Uh, but Talon is just able to chop everyone up. There went Jin. There went Poppy. Before that was... Uh, I'm not even sure. Galio, perhaps, I think was left up. Jin had already died. Uh, the only one available now is Nocturne. And he will not be able to stop this. <laughs> so this is a Dragon Sold. Second Baron. Super empowered minions, a level 16 Zack who can completely ignore the towers if he wants to at this point. Nocturne going to try to just throw out some abilities, at least make a good game of it. Um, they're losing both of these turrets, and this is going to be all she wrote, guaranteed, folks. 29-18, to Missouri S&T defeats Murray State University at around the 31-minute mark. It looks like they're going to go ahead and camp Fountain a little bit just for fun. Um, there comes a Galio ult. Boom! Gets the knockout, but that is it. That's GG, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. We will go ahead and show damage grabs. <laughs>